up beauties welcome back to my channel it's your girl jay elise and i'm back with another video and as you all can tell from the title i am going to be just showing you guys how i apply my labels and how i get them to stick and also how i uh put on my shrink wrap i know a lot of people have been asking me like how do i get the little wrapper things around it it's a shrink band that's the technical term for it it's called a shrink band and if you guys watch my vlogs and stuff you would know that i get them from amazon i literally tell you guys like everything everywhere i get my products and everything there's no secret to this no secret to that but i just got off work like all of my vlogs be um in my pajamas looking real raggedy y'all um just got through folding up some clothes finna get ready and wash but i'm i mean not wash cook um, and I'm like, let me go ahead and just do this video because y'all have all these glosses here that I need to go ahead and get started because I have been doing everything, um, day by day I have been making glosses. I have been like right here, it's not even half of what I've made and, um, pretty much where I'm going with this, I'm going to pretty much have everything together. So once my website once my website launch if it's not launched already depending on when i upload this video like when them orders come in all i have to do is bag it up ship it off i'm not gonna have to put no labels on i'm not gonna have to do this i'm not gonna have to do that i'm not have to, i'm not gonna do anything everything is already gonna be prepared here is pretty much all of my glosses the ones i'm gonna get ready and apply my labels to now my formula did change a little bit when i started out doing these i had it actually a little bit clearer like a lighter tint but i actually went back and did it and i did make it darker as you can tell like this right here you can see this one is darker and that's how i have it now i mean it's still a clear gloss but i just made it a little darker same with these um just a little make it a little put a little bit more extra pigment to it but yeah and as you all know you know these was my old cherry blossom and i actually changed it to you know rosie lee my grandmother's name and here is pretty much the labels and y'all i've had been having problems getting them to like lay down all the way like that y'all and just stick like it ain't been trying to work um this here this actually is on here pretty well yeah it, it takes a lot of times to get this stuff laid and then of course you all know i have my ingredients on the back of my glosses as well these are already shrink band to go but these does not have the ingredients on the back which these were just mine anyways these are just like displays and then these here, which you all seen these on Instagram already. And then here go the labels. And this is pretty much me preparing everything, y'all. I was trying to get all the glosses that I had on my labels. I have my bags. These are the bubble mailers. And I also have some bigger ones as well. My um, business cards. And I do not have my, what is it, my flyers. Um, I didn't do thank you cards. I just did flyers. Why well, I feel really tight right here, y'all. But let me stop running my mouth. Stomach is over here growling. But, um, let me show y'all when I'm gonna cook. It's just like some little chicken patties. I ain't gonna cook no whole meal or whatever. Nothing like that. This is like some little chicken patties and some, um, french fries. And let's see. So yeah, if y'all watch my shopping um vlog, I showed you guys these here, and this was my first time trying these because I love the chicken nuggets with y'all. This right here with some cheese and some pickles. Whoo! It's fire. It's really fire. And for those who always have something to say, it's not many. Actually, it's only one person I've seen that tried to sit here and say some um. My information was really good, but you sitting here, you talk too much and we get in. Well, baby girl, don't watch it. Don't watch it. And then have the nerve to say no offense. Don't sit here and say no offense and say, oh, well, the beginning was too long or this is an ad, this is an ad. I don't care. 
you watch it you either watch it or you don't watch it this is a vlog right here that I'm doing so I'm going to talk I'm going to run my mouth and I'm going to say what I want to say but yeah I just have to go ahead and address that and I really don't like addressing people but I just want to go ahead and address that issue really quick because like I said I am doing vlogs if you don't like the vlogs then don't watch the vlogs simple as that And I did want to mention y'all, y'all just chilling with me today. Y'all chilling with me today. But um, I just started watching Queen of the South. And um, baby, y'all ain't watched this. Y'all need to watch it. Apparently it's been out because it's on season four and I'm just not watching this. I just not started this yesterday, y'all. But man, y'all, this is really good. All right, y'all, now I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I just washed my hands and I have my cotton balls. And I have my alcohol. You all may see her back hi. here. Look at it. <laughs> Throwing some high. Um, so basically, like I said, it's the antibacterial hand soap. You notice when you wash your hands with that, it leaves your hands really dry because it strips everything. The oils, everything, it strips all of that. And that's why I use that. So basically, I just go over and... I just wipe down my glosses with the um, alcohol. Like I said, they kind of, y'all know alcohol is very drying. It's going to take all the oils or whatever left residue that's left on the tube, whatever it is. And it just basically makes your um, labels lay better. Uh, like I said, I have a few labels that doesn't come up at all. And I have some that lift, so I mean, I don't know, y'all. I just, I'm done trying to stress over, trying to get them labels to lay all the way right, y'all. It just, it's a struggle. But you just do the best you can. I done went through like four different labels to get it on one gloss. So, y'all, I be trying to get everything right, but I don't, it's, it's, everything doesn't have to be perfect. Everything is not going to be perfect at the end of the day, you know. So basically, by the time I'm done with that last gloss, it should be drying. I'm just basically going to go back with a another cotton ball and just basically going back and drying it and making sure it's all the way dry, y'all. Make sure it's all the way dry before you apply your labels. Y'all can see I done got in the bed. I done got all into Queen of the South and y'all all into it. And I'm like, let me hurry up and do this. I'm um, like, I forgot to do this little part. Let me hurry up and do this. I'm all into this, y'all. Because y'all know me. I normally don't watch TV at all. Like, I normally do not even have time to watch TV. So, I try to get that time in. Lately, I've really been trying to get that... I'm like, where the alcohol go? That time in for, like, myself. You have to have a break. Okay, here are my... You want to see that? These are my ingredients labels that I printed out and I'm going to start by applying these first which it goes on the back of course and make sure you do it the way you I'm right handed so when I apply it goes like this so you want to make sure that the labels is right it's very important and I kind of just lay the end I'm going to show it up closer in a minute y'all and I kind of go out with it I make sure I smash the middle end and then I go out, which like I said, I'll get up close in a minute. And this is Royal, so I'm going to find Royal, which is right here. And I actually said I was gonna cut it. So they bring me the, um, bring me the scissors out my um drawer. They're them purple scissors. So yeah, y'all. While I wait for that, that's how that looks. You all can see that a little bit, my uh, ingredients right there. And I'm gonna take this off. And I'm actually going to trim my labels.
like I said, I'm just talking through it now and I'm gonna actually show y'all up close in a minute. Cause at first I was applying it down at the bottom, but I'm not really just so doing it like that anymore. I kind of go towards the middle, spread it out, and do it that way. You want to try to prevent like the air bubbles from getting in there. And like I say, I do cut it, but you don't have to. But that's pretty much how that looks. Let me show y'all up a little closer now. Now, I don't know if the camera crooked because it looked kind of crooked from the way that I'm looking at it. But let's go ahead and show y'all up close on what I'm doing. I'm going to take what? I'm on my baby. Okay, go get your baby, baby. I'm going to take the ingredients. And I'm basically going to just put it on there like so guys, hey, guys. as you can see that's guys. how that looks guys, I go get my baby. I just, you, you hit the yeah, she, she, she would think she um talking to youtube y'all <laughs> but this right here the most important step and i hope i can do this like with this angle this way y'all let me see something bear with me y'all bear with me Ooh. it turned down just a little bit really quick so basically you see it like that and what i'm doing i'm not putting it all the way towards the end i'm putting it almost at the end and i'm gonna lay it and press the middle all the way down like that and i'm going to do the bottom spread it out from the bottom first see now messed up trying to look at the camera you spreading it for the bottom it's us and y'all can see like how i got a bubble right there now so i'm just gonna kind of push it from the bottom Mommy. and go out with it Mommy. like good thing you can like reposition it but once you pick it up y'all it's just Sometimes it's pretty much over with, which, and there you have it, as you can see, when I had to reposition it, this right here, which I hate that, but yeah, that's how that looks. Then we have the back, and I did the pink champagne off camera, which I did that really good, of course. That's how that looks. Then the ingredients on the back, and let's just keep going. And as y'all can see, I did not cut it this time. Like I said, sometimes I cut it, sometimes I don't, y'all. It just really depends how I feel, honestly. Like, sometimes it starts laying before I actually lay it, y'all. And this is what I mean by I hate putting the labels on. Because of this reason right here, it's kind of hard. And I just kind of go around and just press it to make sure it stays on. And there you have it. And I am going to show y'all at the end. Actually, this is like the last one because for my um, rosy lead, this one here, y'all, I do not actually have the label printed out yet.
And I am going to redo the royal, y'all. Because I ain't, like I said, I cut it. And I didn't cut the other one. So I am going to just reapply that label. All right, y'all. And this is how it's looking. This is how they look. And I actually did pretty good, but as you all can see, it was not perfect as I was laying it down. You can reposition it and move it as many times as you want, but y'all see, and this is how it turned out. I love it. And this is how the back looked, which I got it upside down, but with the ingredients and everything. Now, I didn't put the shrink wrap on here yet, but I guess I can go and do that for y'all really quick. All right, so as you all did see, it was not perfect as I was laying it. I had to reposition like almost all the glosses that I put the labels on because it was creating a air bubble. And I don't want an air bubble, but for the most part, y'all, all of these are just straight laying. They're doing really good. They're not coming up. And I just love them. So let me show y'all really quick how I... um. Put my shrink wrap on of course it's just like this little wrapper here all i do is just slide it on there this is it here you all can see how that looks and i'm just basically Do it like so. I'm like, okay, it takes seconds, y'all. That's how it looks. And it gets really hot. Um, but yeah, yeah. This is pretty much how we're looking. All right, y'all. So this is pretty much how we're looking, or how the glosses are looking with the shrink band and everything on there. Yeah, don't pay attention to my nails. I need a feeling bad. Um. But yeah, the ingredients and everything, y'all, it looks really good. You can't sit here and tell me you, you my stuff doesn't look like you can buy this off the shelf. But yeah, y'all, this is pretty much how it looks. Curling away. But yeah, y'all, this was just pretty much a little, like I said, the titles, it's just a little chill with me. Just a little chit chat, see what's been going on, see how I apply my labels, and just pretty much what I be doing, y'all. Um, it's like I said, every day, just I'm always doing something. Like even if I just do this right here, I'm always doing something. I'm either making a gloss, I'm either washing some tubes out, I'm either making some labels. I'm always doing something. So, like I said, I may not always be active on social media. Um. But it's just a lot of stuff behind the scenes that is still getting done. And, you know, sometimes I will, you know, put a story up. And I don't want nobody to think that it's okay not to be active because you should be very much active on your social media account. But, yeah, I just, if you can't, you can't. I mean, it is what it is. Don't stress yourself out if you cannot be active on your social media. I mean, you are doing things for your business. And like I said, you know, people have a lot of other things that's going on. This is not my number one job. Um, but I still dedicate a lot of time. Like I said, most of the time it may be behind scenes, but I dedicate a lot into what I do, y'all. And like I said, eventually, we're going to speak this into existence. So eventually, yes, this will be my main job. But as of right now, I love my job. And I'm actually trying to put in four more years, God willing, um, at my job, I'm not just going to quit. I have plans, y'all. I have goals. I have a lot that I'm trying to get done. But, um, but yeah, y'all. Let me show y'all these one more time. This is pretty much how they look. And everything. 
and yeah and that's pretty much all that i have for you guys today so if you guys have any questions about this make sure y'all put them in the comment section down below let me know what y'all want to see because as you can see i'm just doing little vlogs here and there there's only so many like lip gloss videos that i can do like i said i have so many out there already but um uh, i love vlogging for you guys i love doing this type of um videos for y'all so make sure y'all hit that like button comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye